Hey guys, I'm Tino C, and in today's video, we're going to talk about Warlock Super Damage. So the next season is going to have a Gambit Pinnacle Weapon, and I'm going to be grinding my butt off in Gambit. You're not always going to have your clanmates to insta-melt the primeval, so there's going to be a lot of solo games out there, you know? And a really important aspect of the game is boss damage. And that brought me to my question, when it comes to single targets, what super does the most damage, and by how much? What exotics can I use to increase the amount of super damage? And unfortunately guys, when it comes to Warlocks, there's only one exotic armor piece that will increase the amount of super damage that you can uh, throw out there, and that is Geomag Stabilizers. I mean, you have the Crown of Tempest, but unfortunately that doesn't increase the amount of damage. You have to actually get kills to, it, uh, to extend the super duration. Unfortunately, when dealing with a single target, this doesn't actually help you. And the supers that we are going to be testing are Bottom Tree Dawnblade, Middle and Bottom Tree Voidwalker. Unfortunately, we're not going to be testing the top tree. Uh, that Nova Bomb splits off into multiple projectiles and is not that good when it comes to a single target. And Middle, Bottom and Top Tree Stormcaller. And without further ado, let's get into it. Up first, we have the Dawnblade bottom tree. Um, I went into the Ascendant Challenge and I'm um, using these knights as test dummies. The Dawnblade takes about a quarter of the knight's health. Up next, we have the bottom tree Voidwalker. Uh, this Nova Bomb does damage over time and it does have like an area of effect. This was kind of disappointing. It, it, it almost took a quarter of the knight's health the overall damage was mediocre at best. Up next we have Nova Warp, one of my favorite PvP supers. I mean, this thing wrecks in the Crucible, and in PvE, it's not that bad. You can see in this footage that I get the Knight's health about halfway, and not only does it do really, really good boss damage, it's also great for ad clearing. Up next we have Top Tree Stormcaller. Now, this does not have landfall, however, it does do a lot of damage and is also great for ad clearing. When it comes to a single target, I mean, it, it's okay. Uh, it, you can do a lot of damage, however, it only takes down about a little bit over one third of the knight's health. And the bottom tree Stormcaller, the one with landfall, uh, does around the same amount of damage. I mean, you get that initial slam at the very beginning when you cast your super. However, it does not increase the amount of damage you actually do to a single target. And up next, we have the clear winner. The clear winner. Chaos Reach with Geomag Stabilizer. Man, this thing, this super wrecks. It just does so much damage to a single target. It's ridiculous. It's like this expansion, they gave a Celestial Nighthawk to the Warlock. And uh, this, this super, hands down, does the most damage. I mean, if you have Geomag Stabilizers, this thing wrecks. I know this super did a lot of damage, I just didn't think it would just surpass all other supers by that much. It's freaking ridiculous. And to summarize this all up, guys, you got Chaos Reach doing the most damage, followed by Nova Warp, followed by Storm Trance, Daybreak, then Storm Trance with Landfall, and then Nova Bomb. And one of the exotics I recommend in Gambit that will help your overall team do damage is the Tractor Cannon. Now, if you equip the Tractor Cannon, you will do 33% uh, more damage with uh, Arc and Solar Supers, and 50% more damage with Void Supers. And, and I, I had to do it, guys. I had to see what these supers would do with the, the debuff from the Tractor Cannon. And even with the debuff, it does not come close to Geomag Stabilizers. It's, it's ridiculous, man. <laughs> it, that, that super does so much damage. However, I mean, the thing that comes close, of course, is going to be your Nova Warp. And it does take uh, the Knight down like two-thirds of its health. However, it does not take the full bar like Geomags, you know, it's the, the super is just so good with uh, with uh, this exotic. And when it comes to a single target, uh, i.e. your primeval, you're able to do a ridiculous, 
just a ridiculous amount of damage, man. It's, you, you could just see that primeval melt right in front of you. And, I, and guys, I, I know it's hard to get this exotic, and I hope you get it, especially with a new season coming up, and uh, Gambit is going to be a thing. And that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys found this information interesting, please subscribe to this channel, share and like this video. Let me know about it in the comments section below. As always, stay positive. Dino C out.